you gorgeous welcome back and welcome to another vlog come spend the weekend with me it is saturday and i am about to go to a farmer's market danny and i were going to go this morning but he has injured himself and can't really walk at the moment so it's just going to be me i still want to go anyway because it's such a nice day today it's been raining a lot lately, so I want to go somewhere, soak up the sunshine. And since I haven't been in the club, I've been wanting to go to a farmer's market because I want to get some fresh produce and they're only on Saturday and Sunday mornings, which you can't really go to if you're a stripper. So I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to buy some fresh produce. Maybe have I did have some scrambled eggs and an orange, but I'm still hungry. So I'm probably going to have something to eat as well. So come to the markets with me. So this is the fit. Pretty sure I got this top from Universal a few years ago. The shorts are from my latest thrift store haul video. Cowboy boots and Louis back. Anyway, let's go. This is what I got. Nice big loaf of bread. I got some flowers. I got some kale. I used to buy kale all the time when I would go to these farmers markets in Brisbane. And I actually kind of miss it. So I got some kale. Some pak choy, some snow peas as well. Danny loves cherry tomatoes, so I bought a bunch of cherry tomatoes for him. Avocados. Broccoli. I loved persimmons as a kid, so I grabbed some. I've been eating so many oranges lately. <laughs> so I got some oranges. Some apples. A lemon. And some passion fruit. I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff because I am going to Melbourne on Thursday for a few days to work. I didn't want to buy all this produce that I'm not going to eat in time. But there we go. That's my little <laughs> trip to the farmer's market. I'm, I'm hungry and I don't know what to eat now. So I have eaten and I do have a private later tonight. So I'm going to get ready in a few hours. But at the moment I am planning my first podcast episode because I am working on coming out with a podcast. I just have not had a chance to sit down and do much with uni. But I am doing one less subject next semester. So I know that I'll be able to have a bit more time to focus on it. So I'm just writing up a bit of a draft and then I'll probably record at the start of next week when Danny goes back to work. So I'm just getting started on my makeup now. I did a bunch of organizing for the podcast. I've written out an outline for the first episode, which is just going to be a basic one anyway. And then I've written out an outline for the second episode. And then I've brainstormed some ideas for the other episodes as well. So exciting. I just don't know what I'm going to do because I'm ready to start. I'm ready to go. But I'm going to be in Japan and I'm going to be traveling a lot interstate over the next two months. So I just want to start. I don't want to put it off any longer, but I also want to be consistent with it. But I think I'm just going to post it anyway. And if I don't upload anything, then I don't upload anything. But I think it's more important to start before it's perfect and before everything is put in place just to just to start. Otherwise, I'm going to keep putting it off forever and I don't want to do that. So I've written in my diary that I'm going to record on Tuesday, Wednesday. So, so fingers crossed my new podcast will be out very soon. But I'm going to get started on my makeup and prepare myself for my private. Okay, I have got to go now. I wanted to leave a little earlier, but Danny made dinner really spicy. <laughs> so it took me ages to eat. I'm ready to go now. I have to leave now. Stop. <laughs>
<laughs> I will see you soon. So I just got here. There's two other girls that I think I booked as well. Um, I'm just going to get changed into my lingerie and then I'm going to go head out there and do my thing. Just done the first hour, which is lingerie, and I'm going to take my bra off now and do three hours topless. That was a massive fight, so I am leaving now. Jeez. Okay, that was an interesting job, and it is pouring rain <laughs> right now. You can probably hear. So I went to the private and did four hours one hour lingerie, three hours topless, and then they extended. And I managed to get a few lap dances as well after they extended another hour because they upgraded to noon. There were two other girls with me. One girl was ready to go at midnight because these guys were not really, they didn't really care that we were there. But the guy who was organizing it was keen to have us there, keen to have us stay, keen for us to float around, talk to people. But it was one of those situations where it was like, you go up to one group, they're not really interested. So you like, you just kind of go up there and then walk away. And then you go up to another group and then they're not really interested either. So you walk away, go find another group and they're not really interested either. And then I, we, I only really spoke to a few different people that were one-on-one -on -one throughout the night. I didn't really do much group entertaining because a lot of people, like most, they just didn't really care that we were there. It was really weird. So yeah, one girl was like, I'm leaving at midnight. I'm not dealing with these guys any anymore. Myself and the other girl, we got upgraded to nude for another hour to go until one. And then once that was finished, the other girl was going to go home. But I decided to stay for another hour because he asked me to hang out for a bit longer and do another nude hour. And he... Pay ID me the money, so he paid me, and I chatted to him for five minutes, and then I went to the room that we were using as our change room. I was like, excuse me, I just gotta let my partner know that I'm staying for another hour. And I went to message Danny, and I walk back out, and I can hear all this yelling and carrying on. I'm like, don't tell me they're fighting. Please don't tell me they're fighting. So I... <laughs> I walk back and I can see in the doorway there's people trying to break up a fight and all like kind of going for it. I really don't want to deal with this right now. This is not a vibe. And so I kind of lay low. I kind of stand back and just then I think I'm just going to go back to the change room. I know I'm safe there. And as I turn my back, I can hear the smashing of glass and it's not just glasses being smashed. It's literally like the glass window. And I think, oh, cool. Cool. So the other girl was getting getting dressed. And I, I go back and I and I say, they're fighting. <laughs> it's all happening. And so we both go out. And so we hang out in there until it's died down. Walk back out and there's a few people cleaning up glass. There's a few people getting the first aid kit. And there's a bit of blood, this and that. And I'm sort of like, do I put my clothes back on? Do I stay nude? We were kind of hanging around making sure like, everything was okay. Seeing if there was anything we could do to help. <sighs> this poor guy. <laughs> Gonna have to fix window and it's raining so gonna be a bit <laughs> bit messed up hung around for a bit and the guy who was organizing it all came over and said look i'm so sorry you shouldn't have to see this blah 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 and then he said oh i'll walk you to, to my car so i'd still been paid for the hour it granted i'd stayed for another 35 minutes after i'd been paid because of all the fight stuff so it's not like i just got paid and then got to leave because I hung I did hang around for a little bit after all this was happening but yeah he he walked me to the car in the pouring rain was so apologetic but you know it is what it is it just sucks that men have to fight pretty much everyone there was Irish or Scottish and everyone was going on and on about my nails and this one guy goes how do you do anything how do you pick anything up how do you do how how do you live and I said, okay, well, get me to pick something up and I'll prove to you how I can do things with it. And he goes, yeah, okay, I've got something for you to pick up. And I thought he was going to pull a card out because obviously cards are hard to pick up with this. But he pulls out a $5 note and he puts it on the table and he goes, pick this up. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that was supposed to be hard. So this is now mine. Oh yeah, and I did a public lap dance. The guy who was organizing it said, oh, I just want you to kind of 
you know, humiliate this guy, like beat him up a little bit in front of everyone. My whip. <laughs> is, <laughs> how is half of it missing after that one lap dance? Well, he was a bit of a creep. So I, I gave the whip to another guy and I was like, you can, you can whip him. And so he was whipping him so hard that these were falling off. I'm, I need to order a new, a new whip tomorrow. So this booking was done through an agency, which I don't do very often. Privates that I've been doing have been me organized through the client. And it's different in Western Australia to in Queensland. In Queensland, you're not really able to book direct with clients, but it's a bit more relaxed in Western Australia. You can book direct and you can give out your social media to customers and they can book you again directly. They don't have to always book you through the agency. It's a lot more freelancer friendly and agents aren't as hectic as they are in Queensland. So it's a bit more relaxed. I've been doing a lot of privates that I've done and priced myself. And I know that I would have made a lot more money had I charged my own rates, which is still in industry, industry standard for girls who charge direct. But at the same time, I wouldn't have gotten this job without the agency. So it's a bit of a, you know, I'm not going to complain about getting paid less because I still made a decent amount of money. Most of my money was transfer. And... I am, I don't know how much I need to send in commission, so I'm not sure how much money is profit, but I'll do a money count of the cash that I do have for you. But yeah, pretty much everything was sent via pay ID. Okay, so oh, it's folded, it's not. It's annoying. It's not as crisp and nice to count. Okay. 100. 200. 300. Yes. $305 in cash. I'm pretty sure from my estimate, I think I made about 1400 all up. So I'm super grateful that I got booked for this. So that's the sleigh. I'm gonna have something to eat. Probably some hash browns. I'm gonna finish my hydrolite. And then I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> morning it is Sunday around 12 30 I pretty much just got up and I'm ready to go to the gym I have biceps and triceps today which is my least favorite day but we've got to get it done so I'm gonna drink my pre-workout and do some lifting I had some eggs on toast with the bread from the markets yesterday and it tasted so good so worth it but yeah let's let's go to the gym and get this done Love you. Love you too. Okay, I'm home from the gym. Danny just made me a tuna sandwich for lunch. No, we're not doing that. And I've got a few hours before we go to dinner for our date night. And in the meantime, I'm going to record my Patreon recap for the week. And I'm going to work on next week's vlog. So just getting things done bit by bit. Okay, so Danny and I are about to go leave to get some dinner together for date night. I don't know if I like this outfit. All the winter clothes I have are more for during the day. I don't really have many clothes for like dinners and things like that. So I don't know if I really rate this outfit, but I've just kind of thrown it together last minute. I bought this top from The Iconic a few years ago, I'm pretty sure. This skirt was thrifted. These were from The Iconic. And I have an old Poppy Lucy Moon bag as well. So I'm gonna eat some seafood and spend some time together. Home, we stopped to get ice cream on the way and we couldn't decide which flavour, so we got
all three. <laughs> so we are going to eat some ice cream and we're going to finish watching The Watcher that we've been kind of slowly making our way through <laughs> on Netflix. And that will be it for the night. And I will get back to all my editing, all my work tomorrow. But yeah, as always, all the links are down below, Patreon, TikTok, all that stuff. Also, if you like this video, please press like so that I know you like this kind of content. I would also really appreciate it if you clicked subscribe and press the notification bell. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a magical day.